Hi, thanks for joining me. This is Angie at Chicken Scratch. This is the card we're making today. And this is the third card for the Cauldron Bubble Stamp Kit of the Month. All the details about this kit is over on my website. We are on round two for this. So we're going to start with our basic black cardstock. And we're going to score that at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to place it here on my Simply Scored Scoring Tool and score it four and a quarter. I'm going to fold it over to form the card base. Because the kits come with 6x6 Designer Series paper, I want to show you how to cut this if you've ordered the kit. So I'm going to place it with the ghost up, and I'm going to cut this to measure 2 inches. Make sure I've got my cutting blade. So 2 by 3 and a half. Okay. So there's that piece. Okay, I got a bunch of layers here. So we're going to take the gorgeous grape cardstock that measures five and a quarter by four, and we're going to emboss it with the uh, corrugated embossing folder. Okay, so here's the big shot and the big shot platform. I'm going to take the gorgeous grape cardstock, and I want to, if you look at the card, you can see that I've got these lines going vertically. So I want to make sure that I place it here. And all I'm going to do is line it up with this black line here um, with Stampin' Up. You can line it up with any of those lines that you, that you can see. It's just easier for me to line it up with that one. So I'm just going to take um, one cutting pad, because this is one of our dynamic folders, and I'm going to run it through the Big Shot. Okay, I'm going to get the big shot out of the way, and then we're going to be using it again in just a minute. But this is the layer right there. Okay, now what I want to do is kind of flatten it out, because what it did was it kind of um, made it a little bit smaller. So I want to make it fit on the front of my card, just like that. Okay, and once we add our adhesive, that will flatten those lines out a little bit more. Okay, there's that part. Now we're going to layer these pieces. So I'm going to take the ghost and add it to the Whisper White layer. And then I'm going to add that layer to the basic black. You can go ahead and add this to the card front. I'm just going to turn it over and add my adhesive. Okay, now we're going to take the basic black and we're going to cut out the starburst. We're going to take the two inch circle punch and cut out gorgeous grape. We're going to be using the one and three quarter in just a minute, but what we want to do first is actually stamp the trick or treat. So I've got two pieces of white here. We're going to stamp trick or treat on the larger piece, which is, um, I believe, two and a half by two and a half. And then we're going to stamp the ghost on the smaller piece. Okay, so this one right here, we're going to color with our sponge dauber and gorgeous grape. I guess I should push that. And I don't want a lot of ink, so I'm just going to take like a piece of scrap paper yeah, and then I just want to dab it on, okay? If you want to use your markers, you can. And then what we're going to do is cut this out because I want to make sure that I'm going to cut this out properly. If you remember card number two, I got the greeting a little to either too low or too high. So I'm going to show you how to make sure you don't do that on this card. So let's cut the ghost out using the little ghost framelit with the Big Shot. So Big Shot, my new platform, cutting pad, and then we'll add our image. All 
Okay, so now let me show you what I mean about this. So I'm gonna place my one and three quarter circle punch right about there. And then I'm gonna put my ghost and then I'm gonna say, okay, that looks good. <laughs> that just, that way it's not too low, it's not too high, it's not too far to the left or to the right, okay? So now let's go ahead and assemble those layers. Now, if you, well, those of you that are ordering the kit, you're going to automatically get the framelits. But for those that only ordered the stamp set that didn't get the framelits, you could just stamp the ghost right on here. I like adding it with a dimensional and popping it up. So that's what we're going to do now. And I want to use the little mini ones. Okay. I just noticed I have my, I have my old chick stand and then I have my new chick stand. So <laughs> I still use the old ones. Okay, I'm going to add this here and then add the ghost. Well, I kind of put it in the wrong spot. There we go. And then the last step is we're going to add this black organdy ribbon. Those of you that ordered the kit, you're getting um, an entire roll of this, so we're going to make a bow. I just noticed I have three pair of scissors right here by me. It's like all my adhesives, all my scissors, everything ends up in the same spot. <laughs> okay, trim this. Okay, so now I'm just going to add this to the card with a glue dot. And you could wrap this ribbon around this layer and tie it here if you wanted to. But I know a lot of you struggle with doing that, so just adding your ribbon with a glue dot is so much easier, right? Okay, so here's my original. Here's the one we just made. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot. Bye. <laughs> Mm-hmm.